Hello YouTube and hello Gemini. This reading is for you. I hope that you um, enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. My name is Kim. I'll be doing your reading. I'm going to draw a few T Fortune cards first and then we will do the Rider Waite Tarot deck, uh, Celtic Cross. We will do a Celtic Cross. Gemini. Okay. Or Gemini. What do we have? Oh. Honor and respect will come to you. Crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Broken bridge. An unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Looks like something may be in the past. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Claw, be careful, do not take risks. Claw, be careful, do not take risks. Oh goodness, is there something that happened? Because I have not unsuccessful plans after the unsuccessful outcome. Hmm. Then I have tankard. <laughs> which is drinking, celebration, fun, enjoyment. And it's kind of on the do not take risks. So be careful with that. Let's see what's going on, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, if we can get a message for Gemini for the highest good. For Gemini for the highest good. time I've got the world so I've got an ending and the knight of wands was on the bottom let's see so we have victory on the bottom so no matter what this says you know whatever problem this was there's something that you've been victorious in and we have three of wands Lots of people. Leo got this too. Three of Wands in this position is you in anticipation. You waiting for, for like return on things that you've done in the past. Ready to see the, your harvest come in. You're in anticipation. The challenge I believe the challenge would be saving money when you get the Four of Pentacles. It could be a challenge to open up and actually listen to other people instead of just yourself. Listen to other people's um, points of view. Could be that. So you're in anticipation, waiting to see your rewards basically for your work. And you have this challenge of having to save. And the foundation, we have the Ten of Rods, which the Ten of Rods is all about endings because it's a ten. It is about being overly burdened, um, burned out. The man like needs to put them down and then restack them a different way. And maybe it won't be so hard on him. So the foundation of the issue is Gemini is tired, tired, tired of trying, struggling, trying. In the past, we have Ace of Wands. So we have an idea, an idea, an inspiration to start something brand new came. This inspiration came as a gift from the universe, like a portal for you to just step through. And it might be something that you actually did step through and you're just waiting, waiting to see your results. The present, we have the hermit. So we have going inside, the card of Virgo. All about finding your light inside you. 
so that you can shine the light for other people. The hermit, even though he's been in isolation and he's been separated from people, he actually comes out being more connected to people. And the reason why is because he goes within to find answers, not without, within. Now in your near future, nice. We have a partnership. This can either be in an enterprise, like a business partnership, or it can be a actual you know, relationship. Could have to do with Gemini, your sign. Could be you, <laughs> could be you. Well, it's definitely you, but you get what I mean. So we have an agreement. We have some people coming together, a partnership. How you are feeling, we've got the Taurus, the Hierophant, Hierophant. Gemini is feeling, you're feeling like you've done everything played by the rules, done things the right way. You've done things the quote right way, <laughs> right? The way that you think society has it out for you, like the churches, the government system, all of that stuff. You've been playing by the rules is how you feel. In the external, and we have two of swords in the external circumstances. So that just means that you're not able to see, you know, these ships coming in, you're not able to see the outcome yet. You can't see the solution and the ending real clearly. You're not able to see it. So you can't make a decision. That is the external circumstances. So externally to you, there is some decision that is at a stalemate because, not because it's not moving forward, don't get me wrong, this doesn't mean that you just stay in place. <laughs> it just means that you can't see the end of your outcome. It can't, you can't see, you can't see the solution to everything quite yet. It's coming, it's coming. Hopes and fears. We have the full card, sometimes related to Aries. The full is all about stepping off that, <laughs> off that high mountain peak <laughs> and taking a leap of faith. Everything is sunshiny to you. You think you can see everything just well. Just be careful not to fall. <laughs> because he's looking up and he's not looking where he's going. So the, but the fool is all about having that innocence, that brand new start. Oh, and then three of cups for your outcome, which is reconcile, reconciliation, <laughs> reconciliation, um, reconcile, yeah. Getting back together with people that you have made really fond memories with getting back together and celebrating, having good times, chit-chatting, can't even be a little gossipy, honestly, but it doesn't have to be bad gossip, right? Okay, then, like I said, at the bottom of the deck, we have the victory card. Let's do a guardian angel card for you, Gemini. Hope this resonates for most of you. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Just check out another reader. They're all very good. Okay. Let's see. Angel of Imagination. Angel of Imagination. 17. Your angel... Let's see, you have received this card because your angel of imagination can see the visions that inspire you on a daily basis. Your angel wants you to explore the visions that you are receiving and set your imagination free. Have you been contemplating taking art class or doing photography? Or have you been thinking or writing a book, creating a daily affirmation or journal? Or do you simply want to be more creative? Your angel of, of imagination has heard your thoughts and they want you to set your ideas into motion. He will work with you to find ways to allow you the freedom to create, make, sculpt, build, 
write, draw, or paint. And if you feel like, if you feel like you are stuck for ideas, then call on your angel of imagination. The angel of imagination has been assistance to many talented artists, writers, musicians, sculptors, architects, and builders of the past. He knows spans of eons of time. All you need to do is ask. And your affirmation is, I am inspired by my angel of imagination to use my, my imagination and to bring my thoughts into reality. That's just beautiful, Gemini. Thank you for allowing me to do your reading. You all have a good day or night.